my costume in <laughs> two shadow. I, I really appreciate that. Hello, hello, hello. The other day, I hit 200 subscribers. When I say the other day, it was like four weeks ago. But still, better late than never for the 200 subscriber special. I did a poll on strawpoll.me to find out what you wanted to see. Because although I said in the 100 subscriber special, I'd do top five embarrassing moments, I didn't know if any of you wanted to see that or not. So I did a straw poll and it turns out a lot of you do want to see my top five embarrassing moments. So for my 200 subscriber special, I will be running through my top five embarrassing moments. And I know you're thinking 200 subscribers isn't a lot. Well, back in the day when I started this YouTube channel, I was jealous because someone had 44 subscribers. So, yeah, that is quite a lot for me now. Enough of the rubbish, let's get on to numero five of my top five embarrassing moments. I suppose this one is embarrassing because of the timing it happened and where I was and the person's reaction. I was on holiday in Barcelona this year, I suppose, and Tommy and Lexi were getting on my nerves. So what better way to you know, annoy them back than to hide behind a pillar and jump out at them when they walk past. Very babyish, I know, but sometimes the classics are the best when it comes to pranks. I knew Lexi was wearing white shoes, so I kept on peeking around every now and then, just seeing when some white shoes were coming around the corner, so I could jump out and scare the life out of them. Ah! Then about the third time of peeking, I saw some white shoes. So, I ducked behind, get ready and I go, yeah! Turns out, Tommy and Lexi had decided to sit on a bench a bit of a while back, and that I'd just scared three Italian grandmas and their dog. So embarrassing, my parents saw the whole thing unfold, and they were obviously trying not to wet themselves. And the three Italian ladies, I didn't even scare them. How, how rubbish is that? I can't scare anyone. They just go, ciao. So embarrassing. <laughs> really embarrassing <laughs> but it's not as bad as number four it gets to that point when you're about six or seven and your parents are like i think you should take up swimming because you can't swim about four months into my swimming experience i went to my swimming center um obviously got my kit bag out no trunks great so i'll go and tell my mom i can't do swimming obviously because i haven't got trunks so she is oh just do it in your pants at this point, we're not even talking like boxer pants, we're talking like tighty whiteies, except they've got orange with a peeling off monkey tattoo type thing on them. I managed to get through the whole swimming lesson with these things on. I was so embarrassed, but I didn't actually get too many odd looks. Well, not that I was kind of looking at anyone else, I was just kind of going off back the whole time, pretending that they were normal trunk and that I'd just kind of gone for the speedo look. So I got out of the pool, having survived the whole ordeal, and I walked down the side because there's a kind of viewing area. And I went, I usually go and hug my mum for some reason. And so I went to go and, you know, sit down um, on her lap. And I went and sat on the wrong person's lap. I think she was, if anything, happy. Because she was like, she went for the whole grandma type thing where you go, oh, hi darling. But obviously I didn't take it quite that well because I had just mortifyingly embarrassed myself in front of my swimming instructor who was watching. Oh, no, no. Just unbelievable. How can you mistake your mum for someone who's, I don't know, twice her age? I don't know, Jeff. Uh, I don't know, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, this one wouldn't have been embarrassing if I'd have done it to my dad or something, but I only went and did it to Addy Akapitan, who is a Paralympic basketball player and TV presenter. So I was at my aunt's art gallery in Heathrow, and she was having a special night or something, and he'd agreed to come along. And so me and Lex were sent down to go and greet him from like the taxi place. So we went and greeted him, and we took him into the lift to get upstairs. You'll have noticed I said he was a Paralympic basketball player. So the first question I ask him is when did you start playing football? I don't personally recollect this one, but Lexi told me it did happen. And I'm gonna go with her word here, because it sounds like something I'd do. I don't know what I was thinking, like a footballer. I wasn't even trying to like insult him because obviously he's in a wheelchair. I genuinely, oh, I just heard a brain fart. 
To summarise, I asked a Paralympic basketball player and TV presenter when he started playing football. So far, we've had tighty whitey swimming sessions, we've had scaring the wrong people, and we've had asking a Paralympian when he started playing football. Well, now up to the most two embarrassing moments of my life, and coincidentally, they both happened at primary school. Numero dos. And this one happened in year two at primary school when we were preparing for our Christmas production. We were doing some sort of weird production, kind of Lion King thing with Simba and all that type of stuff. But then we had people like from the jungle book in it and all that type of stuff. So I don't know if it's a Disney one. It's like a Disney animal type thing, I think. So I was adamant I wanted to be either Simba or the actual like Lion King, I don't know what he was called. Do you know what he was called, Lex, a proper king? Um, Lion... No. No, but I wanted to be one of those. So this other boy had applied for the part of Mowgli and he had hair that was quite similar to um, that of Mowgli's. It was all kind of brown slash black and it was all kind of a bit of a corn fuzzle, shall we call it. And I was thinking, right, I've got the role that nobody wants. It can't be me because someone's actually wanting it and they put it down as what they want to be. Can't be me, surely. But no, no, no. Was I the Lion King? No. Was I Simba? No. Was I Mowgli? Obviously. Why wouldn't I be? You know my luck. Brilliant. So the final product was a now finely dry pair of tighty oranges with the monkey on front, which was covered with a red scarf, which was, yeah, part of the costume. It gets to the performance time, and bear in mind, I'm literally wearing nothing except like the costume I described. And so, let's face it, I'm not like, you know, what's his name, Batista in my build. So you've got some skinny little kid standing up on the stage wearing nothing but a red scarf and a pair of pants. And a black wig, don't forget. The and a black wig, da We did the performance for the students and for the parents. The parents, I think, didn't laugh as much as the students did, and I've pretty much been ribbed about that to this day, so cheers, guys. Number one is so embarrassing, I really don't want to share it with you. I don't want to paint a bad picture in your mind, so I'll keep this one very, very short. It was a wet play at school because it was raining outside, so obviously we're not allowed outside. We might get our shoe in a puddle and get all muddy. Ah. So with it being wet play, everyone's in the same classroom. There's like 30 kids in there. And for some reason, someone decided to pants me. So it was a girl and I don't think she got more than she bargained for. Let's put it like that way. Everything came So down. that's why we're going to leave it for this 200 subscriber special. This has been mortifyingly embarrassing for me. I'm kind of regretting hitting 200 subscribers and having to keep that promise of showing my top five embarrassing moments with of you. Of course, I'm very thankful for reaching 200 subscribers and it was quite fun making this video, thinking about all the things I regret that I've done. My YouTube channel is definitely going in the right direction. That is up. Hopefully we can hit 300 subscribers quite soon. Hopefully kind of before the end of January. Let's go for that. However, if you've enjoyed this current video, please leave a like. Make sure you subscribe. Not what will I do? Oh yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.